All right, what's up, folks? Uh, Dallas Goddard. I really don't know how to pronounce this guy's last name, to be perfectly frank with you. I'm not positive if it's Goddard or Goder or whatever it is. But Dallas Goddard is the move for today. Uh, this is South Dakota State tight end Jackrabbits, which I like that mascot. That's a fun mascot. But uh, yeah, Dallas Goddard, six foot three, two hundred and fifty-five pounds. NFL Draft Scout has him. Now this tight end class is interesting. I've just started to really get into it. Uh, I really like what I see from Mark Andrews, that kid out of a. Uh, Kid out of Oklahoma is good. He's a big man. He moves quick, and I think he's very dangerous. I think he's going to be definitely more of a flex type, uh, but I think he, he has he's blocking upside. You don't really see it much in Oklahoma's offense. We'll be interesting to see how that may translate when we see him in drills through the draft process. I like Mike Gesicki out of Penn State a whole lot too. I think Mike Gesicki is a very interesting player. That jump ball ability is real special. He's got a volleyball and a basketball background. You see it translate into his game. I know it's kind of a trope. It's a bit of a platitude, but really you do. You know, he's got incredible hops for six foot six, and he can clearly box out some folks. He's got a big catch radius, so I like him a lot. But Goddard is a guy I have not yet watched, and I know there's been a lot of hype about him as an FCS prospect out of South Dakota State, so I'm excited to get into it. Let's start. Let's go right away with, with TCU. I think there's no reason not to start with, with uh, you know, that's, that's the toughest uh, defense he's faced without a doubt uh, as far as the available tape that I have for sure. So here we go. Oh, it's only a minute 45. All right, that's weird. All right, so they, yeah, they're starting with him flexed out. That was a little round, a little ugly. He, he, I, I'm already, like, you know, you can see he, he lumbers a little bit when he runs. He ain't necessarily the smoothest dude on the face of the planet. That's all right. Big. Wait, look at that helmet. That's dope. That's the middle of the helmet right there. The American flag is the middle, and the jackrabbit goes over, and the numbers on the other side. I'm a fan of that. That's fresh. Oh, he went down and got that, did he? All right, using him all the way up out wide. Yeah, nice catch. Nice physical. He's big. That's Travin Howard. Who's the? So check this out. I like this. That's Travin Howard right here, who's about to, who's coming over to tackle him. This number thirty-two. He's a he's a he's a player that some folks like as a money backer, right? He's playing here on that uh that play side linebacker position to kind of start things off. This is a guy who allegedly, you know, he's gonna cover tight ends at the NFL level. But this, I mean, look at uh, Goddard takes him for a ride. Then look how big they are next to each other, right? I mean, I, I Travin Howard is a guy that worries me. Let's put it that way. I've written about him before, though. So if you want my Howard takes, hit me up on Twitter, at Benjamin Solak, and we'll talk about that in line here. Okay. All right, big man. So now we're in line. That looks like a nice, good stance. I like that a lot. Look at him. So you can see him curving this route, breaking it in a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about him telegraphing this. Right, as you watch the stem of this route, you can see him leaning in. The safety is going to pick up on that and close on it. But he gets to where he needs to go right away. Catch through contact. Stiff arm a dude. That's what you could do. You know, the second I, I, I you know, Dallas Goddard over here gets into the secondary, he should be eating some folks. He should be causing problems. Wow, it's a seven-point game in the third quarter. What's up, South Dakota State? He can move, man. All right, they're saying Goddard on the, on the, on the play here. They're saying Goddard on the size. All right. Look at him run, man. He looks like angry. He looks scary. He's got, he's got so much of a forward lean to shoulder pads. Natural hands. How do we feel about this color scheme? I feel good about it. I like I like these these uniforms. Nice. Easy. Little little throwback. Let, oh, this is this is uh all twenty two heads are gonna love this, right? So I get jet motion. So now I'm pulling. We see 11 here. That slot corner. That's where Anthony Texada. He's coming over, right? We got that all that flow going that way. You can see how you can see how these linebackers here bellying out to account for that motion. Worried about the play action fake that comes from 35 in the backfield here. This is just a great little concept. And we're gonna leak Goddard out to the side. And you can see how Goddard hesitates as he moves backside, right? You can see how slowly he sifts through the traffic, kind of selling, blocking, blocking. No, I'm not. Finish. Look at him invite the contact, too. He wanted to hit that guy. Nice. He closes on this quick. Take God a second to gear down. It's all right. That was a big man. That's what's going to happen. Oh. 
So let's let's see. We got what is this little like you know he widens out and then he comes back in on the post action, a little like wheel route sort of a situation. It's going there the entire way, right? Quarterback's not looking to that three wide receiver side at all. Is it like is this an RPO or no? Not really. It's just a play action fake to hold the uh, the backer. No, that's too high. Horn Frog's low key terrifying mascot, to be honest. A Horn Frog is a scary looking dude. All right, nice play. So let's so let's see here. Remember we said you know he's going to be bellying inside a little bit on this post. Uh, is the safety going to read that and close on him? No, is it Goddard gives him a little bit of an outside move, right? Goddard gives him a little head fake to the outside. I don't know. The burst isn't perfect coming out of there. He's, but he's smoother than I thought he was going to be, which is nice. And that ball just seems to be behind him a little bit. He's looking for a flag. Oh, flag came out. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I'll watch this one more time. I guess that left arm arrives and kind of gets down on Goddard's left arm for 18 there. I can see it. I don't know how I feel about that call. I don't really like any pass interference calls ever, though. It's 41 to 59. Jeez. Third and 21. I right, just went straight down through the press. You're not going to press him from four yards out. I don't know what that coverage is. I guess they've got a safety on top, so he's just getting a trail position. All right, that's that for the TCU game, which I don't know if there's enough there for me to feel comfortable taking notes on that one. Um, so maybe I'll just forego that right away. Oh, wait, I can't open Twitter because you guys will see. All right. Um, let's go North Dakota State then. We'll we'll end things off with Villanova. We'll get to Southern Illinois if all of those end up being one minute, 40 second videos. Do they not? All right, this one's eight minutes. I was about to say, we didn't get him blocking at all. Oh, Dallas, what you doing? Dallas, no. Oh, so, so see that? See, they're holding him with the jet sweep action again, which I like. Get this linebacker's moving. Who drops into coverage? Is that the middle linebacker who drops? Yeah, he takes Goddard right away, right? So North Dakota knows this is coming. Goddard breaks on him. You got to catch that, Dallas. Dallas, you got to catch that, brother. In line. Nice. Are there some people who like the South Dakota State quarterback? Or am I thinking of South Dakota, just plain South Dakota? Woo! I like this. Way to be, man. Nice cut block. Hey, if, any, if there's anything Zach Ertz has taught us, it's that if you can cut block as a tight end coming across the line of scrimmage, you will be able to stay on the field. This is bully. All right. I like this. We're going to go slower on this. All right. Oh, hands inside. Nice activity right through the base. We see how the knees and the, and the hips are active and the frame is over. That's good. You should get more of a lean there. You can see how he could get popped back by power, right? If we look at it right here, right? You can see how he's too far behind on his ankles right there. He's not far enough into the guy, but that's nice. And then just drive him away. This is also bully ball, right? This is, this is gutter just being significantly bigger than most people that he's playing. Oh, is that, did they miss identify who's who? Yeah, so Goddard is the wide receiver up here right now, right? And he's going to, whoo! That's one way to separate. Watch Goddard separate here. Goddard's the wide receiver at the top of the screen. Watch him separate. I'm up against a corner. Get out of here. And then stop, hands catch, go pick up the first down. He loves him some contact, right? Like, one of the things, like, you know, we talked about Adam Shaheen, that kid out of Ashland last year, right? And one of the things that worried you about Shaheen was he was so huge and he was so dynamic of an athlete, right? And that was exciting. But he didn't really like contact. And that was something you figured he was going to have to work through. Now, the, the Bears took him in the second round, which was interesting. I was more okay with it than most people were. I think he's going to be a good player for them in the future. But one of the things I'm really liking from Dallas right now is he says, all right, if I'm bigger than you, I'm going to beat up on you, right? I'm not afraid to do that, which is something that Shaheen lacked, which is nice for Dallas. That's good for his eval. He's a big man. Oh, I love that play design. Boom. 
A little split action. Picking up dirty yardage, baby. If you hit him here, he's, he, he's going to fall down three yards from there. You know what I'm saying? All right, red zone. Be good. That was cool just from the running back in general. It's a good rep for Dallas. Generating movement. Red zone blocking often isn't very pretty. Throwback. Tight end throwback. Oh, on fourth and goal. What? I love the play call. Always love me some tight end throwback. Oh, and is it out of the bone too? Yes, it is. Hit him with it. Ah, oh, it's too much. Still. Fun play design. That's what's important here, folks. Oh, it's heartbreaking. All right, whoa, 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 I missed where he was. There he is, bottom. All right, so you see, you see here we got less than ideal balance, right? Head gets down. He doesn't bring his feet with him, right? You can see once he makes contact, you'll watch the feet stop, and he's just kind of leaning into it. That's less than ideal. Right. And again, like, you know, like this is a guy who's blocking at the FCS level. Right now, he's big and he's strong, so he's going to grab you and move you. That's what he's going to do. Like, that's it. You know, it doesn't need much more than that. And so, as we watch Goddard get these blocking reps in, right, we're like, that, that play, you know, he's down blocking, he's just driving a guy. That was a good rep. Let's take a look, you know, let's take a look. Like, we got fourth and two right here. Oh, ballsy call. That's a good rep right there, right? It's a fine rep. So this is why when I'm evaluating tight ends, right, and I've got it in my system as far as traits for which I'm grading, oh, no way. Okay, right now the video is kind of choppy, which is annoying. All right, let's break this down. I know I was talking about something else, but this is cool. They love those posts. He's such a big target. Oh, incomplete. All right. Can I get this to go half speed so I can see what's actually happening? Because the video is so herky-jerky. You can't locate the ball there. Oh, I really hope that's a touchdown. Knock the helmet off, too. There's, there's a targeting call. They just go half distance to the goal. Jump ball. Cash money. He's got nice body control in the air, folks. There was a false start? Don't do that to the man. All right. I mean, yeah, so, like, right now, I'm telling you right now, co NFL coaches are watching this, and they're saying, all right, if I go, you know, I'm going three by one, he's on the inside, right? They're going man-on-man -man coverage here, right? Which means Goddard's going to be able to get to this thick back of the field, right? They ended up even going two safeties. He's split in the middle, right? But without that one single high safety, right, yeah, I can hit this jump ball every single day of the week, right? Because again, like as we saw in that first play, they're trying to drop a linebacker, 41 here, to go catch up with him. That's not happening. You put that ball face mask or above, it's got its football to lose, right? That's really exciting. That's a lot of fun to watch. God, it's going to be 23. All right. Back to third and 12. We're going to hit him up a third time in the red zone? Yeah, we are. Go get that. Oh, Dallas. I really wanted him to break that tackle. You know, we need to be able to see tight ends break tackles. That's what separates good tight ends from great tight ends. You see, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand, Dallas. You need to just get to the sideline and dive and extend. Right? That's where you're gonna be successful. A little bit rolled up there in a stance. That's okay. Oh yeah, throw him out the club. Right. So now we're back to him blocking. One of the things, you know, when I, when I evaluate tight ends and the way that they block, I do it quite differently than I do for offensive linemen in the sense that I'll evaluate their blocking technique, but then I'll also evaluate something which, I mean, 
you could basically describe it as blocking athleticism, right? Whereas where blocking athleticism, I want to see a, an illustration of flexibility through the lower joints, ankles, knees, and hips. And, and I want to see enough balance where even if you don't block well now, I think you can block well when I get you in my building, right? I think I can make you passable. And that's, again, like, you know, I'm an Eagles fan, but that's one of the main things we've seen from Zach Ertz, right? Where Zach Ertz is at the point right now where he is not a good blocker and he never has been a good blocker and it's just he wasn't in college and he isn't now. However, the Eagles have gotten to a point where he's passable and a lot of that is because Zach Ertz was just a good enough athlete, right? And, and when you're a good enough athlete, I can teach you how to place your hands. I can teach you how to generate enough upper body power. I can teach you how to use your leverage to just be in an, a guy's way enough that I can keep you on the field. My goal as an offensive coordinator is to keep you on the field. I don't have to take you off on running downs and then put in a different guy and then bring you on a passing downs. I'm tipping my hand, right? Dallas Goddard very clearly has enough athleticism where he can be both those. Now, I'm not, I'm not even remotely fearful of saying that, right? So that's when, you know, and then, then when, you, when you add in the fact that we've seen him do things where he just takes people, again, out to club, like, right, like that, that's not a good rep. But there have been a couple reps where he's just driven people for yards. He clearly has the will to do it, right? This isn't like, you know, sometimes David Njoku's shape, you'd see him and he doesn't look like he wanted to block at all. And this is, this is a guy who will be willing to block, which is good. That's very big. I like that a lot. It, he'll be benefited coming out of an offense more like South Dakota State, where he runs a little bit more like that, you know? They run a little bit more traditional. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no. Tuck that away, boy! Tuck it away! What are you doing? Tuck it away. Oh, that hurts me inside. That's painful. But now let's figure out. Goddard here going for the corner route, running the seven. Do you, does he cut off his route? I mean, yeah, so single high safety. Slot corner plays it well, takes outside leverage, stacks him up. No way that ball should be thrown, but it's going to be thrown regardless. Oh, all right. Well, I wish Dallas would play, go play some defense. That interception is just heartbreaking. Split zone. Yes. Fake the split zone and hit him. Yeah, give him a shove, give him a shove. Let him know what's up. He's an easy athlete. He's a good athlete, right? Like, like this is not some great five-year starter from a smaller school who's going to be a bad athlete at the combine, but he's got great production. He's an athlete. You can see he's natural for him. How did he end up in South Dakota? Do we know? Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, line Twitter would love this guy, huh? Physical. So, so I, I'm interested here. Looking at play design, he he seems to go for outside leverage on this nine tech right away. Is that for no? So there wasn't even a fake on the split on the uh, the jet sweep. So this is always coming up the inside. It's always designed quarterback run here. So I wonder why he takes him outside like that. But either way, once he gets him outside, he's shoving him, moving him, rolling him, ain't no thing. He is powerful, dude. Yeah, let's see. I am not a fan of the herky-jerky video. Oh. Oh, Jake Winicky, Winicky, whatever. Some folks like him too. Cheese. Yes, Dallas. Oh, come on. How can you not love this? I'll draft this guy. Are you kidding me? Fits his hands well, right? Like they, he's consistently gotten inside lower hands than his opponent, which is great. He's clearly got the length. Then just look at him walk him. All right now, these guys he's seeing again significantly less massive than the guys he's gonna be facing in the NFL. But still, you gotta be encouraged by this. Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. That's candy. Are they playing too high again? Or is this single high? They're playing too high! Oh, he comes down in a man. We when he comes down in a man, but then your first safety is already outside of the hashes on the three by one. You're gonna have this all day long. Poor 41. Is 41 Nick DeLuca? Or 44? One of these middle linebackers from North Dakota State is Nick DeLuca, and I know some folks like him. 
but this is not the best coverage game for him. It's light work. That's easy. Uh oh. Is one he gonna get that call? All right. Let's see what happens here. Looks like he's, he doesn't bring his feet through again. Oh, it's also it's a loop, right? So they're running a little game here. He's always coming inside. That guy's always coming outside. And yeah, he should be. We we end up with three guys helping out here on the uh, on the defensive tackle who ends up crashing. Nobody's there for the looper. Now left guards causing problems here. That's fine. I'm alright with that, Dallas. I'm alright. <clears throat> Remember, y'all can use the chat feature if you want. If you have any questions about tight ends or Dallas or how I feel about North Dakota State's uniforms, all those are acceptable. If you come in late and you hear something that you haven't heard before, then you can ask me about it so I can explain something you may have missed in the beginning. He whiffs, but he comes back to it. That's all right. It's a tough block to make. Split zone, hit him. First and ten. Okay. Jeez. He is a large, fast human being. Right? Like, all right, this is nice. A little stop start there. A little balance, and then boom. I'm using length. You got right into my chest. I didn't even feel it, right? He's powerful. Guy can move. Where okay, so he's getting tackled at the fit at the forty-eight, he goes down at the thirty-eight, right? The thirty-seven. He picked up ten yards through contact, right? I really like his body control too. I'm excited, guys. I'm getting excited here. I really like his control on the air. I think he's a very natural catcher of the football, right? Like this isn't just a big this isn't just a you know a smaller offensive lineman, it's a big wide receiver, right? Very natural pass catcher, which is exciting. I know Kyle Krabs, NDT Scouting, has him as a little, you know, like, next Travis Kelsey. I honestly, I don't think, what was Kelsey's 40 time? They ran, a they ran a tunnel screen with him just here, right? I'm understanding this correctly. They ran a tunnel screen with a tight end who is lined up as a wide receiver, right? So it's not even, like, you know, formational foolishness. No, he's just their most dynamic athlete. On third and 13, he gets it. That's a tunnel screen to a, a, a wide receiver who's actually a tight end on third and 13, when you're down by four with six minutes left in hostile territory and he gets it. What a play call. That's awesome. All right, I want to look up Travis Kelsey's 40 time real quick. It doesn't matter what the coverage shell is. He's going to throw it to Goddard. That speaks to how, how dominant this guy is. Yeah. All right. Kelsey's 40-yard dash was 4.61. All right, that's actually quicker than I thought it was going to be. Jeez. I feel like Kelsey's a little bit taller than Goddard is. I don't feel like Kelsey plays as fast, but, you know, I'm watching Kelsey against NFL athletes, and right now I'm watching Goddard against FCS athletes. So you can fall into that trap pretty easily. Fourteen seconds left. They ran the tunnel screen again. Are there tight timeout? Timeout! 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 They got timeout, right? Yeah, they had timeout. Put them in motion. Yep, same alignment earlier. Breaks this, and then get off me, son, and then make you miss. Wow, that's special, guys. That's special. He's two hundred fifty-five pounds. Right, I, I, I didn't watch Travis Kelsey at Cincinnati. Maybe I should go back, but I didn't see Travis Kelsey breaking tackles like this in the NFL. That's special. And that ends that. What, he wasn't in for the, the final play with four seconds left? How are you not going to have him in? That's crazy. All right. I actually have notes to put down now. I'm not taking a minute and 45 seconds worth of TCU tape, which we didn't see him block once and drawing any conclusions from that. So that was against North Dakota State in 2016. All right. Let me hang on and grade him real quick. Again, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can feel free to drop those in the comments. No problem.
He's tough. He's grading out very well. He's going to grade out very, very well for me. All right, let's go to Villanova. Let's see what we got. Five minutes worth. All right, that's good. Oh, these are tight. These are exclusive jerseys. Check out that Jackrabbit, man. That's dope. You can't tell me that isn't a cool, a cool looking logo. I like that. And then I'm a big fan of the, uh, I don't want more videos. Put the thing away. Nice. Low, hands inside, leverage, drives him back. All right. That was a good block. I like these black jerseys. That was unfortunate. Watch the hands, though. Watch the hands. Light, man. Easy. I guarantee you he's got huge hands. You can just tell. Look at the, you know, the white gloves. Maybe make him look a little bit bigger. But I, I, I feel like he's got some big hands. Oh, we're on the ESPN channel, folks. What's up? Right? Like, he's catching, like, balls that are behind him just effortlessly, right? Like, it's not even a hesitation. Oh, I'm digging these digs. I really like, I really like these uniforms. They've got him 6'4", 250. All right. I'm a 6'3". I feel like Kelsey's like 6'6". Six, six. No, he didn't. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a good football player. Dang. What? Give me a replay. Give me a replay. Gee, yeah. What? Aw. Oh, what an athletic play. I, I, I just talked about how big his hands are. He's in the rain right now. Boom. Now, I'm watching him. That's uh, That's fantastic. Well, up at the top of the screen, running the fade. Oh, nice release. Nice release. Oh, Dallas, I'm excited. I'm excited. So you see, so watch, watch, watch. He's letting him come, right, right? Like, no hand usage, hands come out, boom. Break him right away. That was really nice. Because he let the corner kind of come at him and overplay his hand a little bit. Man. Like, don't, like, look. If you watch him right here, right? He looks wide receiver -y, right? Like, you get this clip of him. He looks wide receiver -esque. He's not super thick or anything like that, right? This is, he looks like a wide receiver. You know, 6'3", but he's 255. He's powerful, right? He's going to be out as a wide receiver a lot. Yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's going to play He's gonna play a lot of wide receiver in the NFL. He's going to be aligned as a wide receiver a lot. So there we, you know, we lost to initial punch a little bit, reset nicely. He's got good grip strength. Yeah, this is, this is a good player, folks. This is a very good player. He's going to blow up the senior bowl. I mean, I, I can tell you very confidently that you're going to put him next to guy like a guy. Like you're going to put him next to like a Mike Gesicki, and Gesicki's going to be bigger and stronger, but Dallas is going to be quicker in space, just plainly, you know, and, and he's going to put himself up there. This is football weather, folks. Coach Orgeron. This is football weather. Some of, like, like, if you watch some of these plays, the ball is going to Dallas no matter what. Watch quarterback. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Release. Too far. But, like, they don't care about the coverage. They're just throwing it to him. We don't really get an angle on it. That's unfortunate. Got a fingertip on it, man. Come on, Dallas. You should catch that. Nice. Is Tano? Oh, Tano Pasano is in this game, I believe. Yeah, this is 2016. Nice. That Villanova linebacker, 45, was also at the, uh, was at the senior ball. I forget his name, though. Third and seven. Running him. He's going to adjust to leverage. Is this? 
Yeah, I mean, they get a zone, and he's just going to turn and plant in a zone. That's easy. Oh, he's a big boy. He's big. Little unnecessary jump there. Nothing but like it's a pet peeve of mine with wide receivers. Oh, the Travis Kelsey inside shovel special. The, the comp is perfect. Well done, Kyle. There's Tana. You saw him in the field. All right, third and seven. Hit Dallas on the inside in breaking route. This is the same route as earlier. Oh, yeah. Talk to him. Chat to him. I'm surprised he got outside leverage there. I wonder if we get a, uh, if we get a, um, a replay here, a different angle. Because it looks like he's got... What's up with the back of his, his uh, neck there? That's weird. All right, let's give him a little inside, outside. Yeah, he does. That's really nice. Watch him cross face here, right? This is good. Right, I'm coming. You see, you see he bends inside just a little bit on this route. He's going to force him to start to open his hips the wrong way. Oh, that's so pretty. Guys, that's very important. It is very important that he does this. That's excellent. And that's a catch. That's a contested catch. That is a catch through contact. Ball, you know, arm on his hands. And he pulls it off. That's very, very good, folks. We've really only seen him drop one once, and that was that one in the end zone against North Dakota State, and it's tough to fault him for that one. All right, so what do we do? What do we see here? Climb up, cross. It was nice. I don't really think that that pulling lineman needed to help Dallas with that player. He should have just taken the next linebacker filling. Would have had a bigger, bigger pickup. What's happening? Yes, outrun everybody. Outrun them, Dallas. What happened here? There's like two receivers in the same spot. Scrambling quarterback. Shades of Vernon Adams on that throw. I'm sorry, I had to. Not a lot of juice for Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is winded. Dallas needs Dallas needs a, a drink, guys. Dallas needs a break. He can't run for that long. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Guys, this is a special football player. This is a first-round player. Hit him. Oh! Now, now, did he get a breather? What was the clock? 238. He did get a breather. This is the least juice we've seen on Dallas all game, as far as the burst coming out of here. Go get it, Dallas! Go get it! Oh! Why are you playing too high in the red zone against South Dakota State? How dumb are you? Wow, that's that. Quick through his tape. All right. Oh, man, that missed touchdown hurts me. Why do we keep on getting, like, left in the red zone without more Dallas clips? You assume they just constantly go to him. All right, Villanova 2016. Yeah, guys, I mean, we got him. I mean, this is the first round grade right now. Let's see what we've got from South Illinois. That's the final game that Draft Breakdown has for him. Oh, snap. I got notifications on Twitter. All right. Kyle's messing with me because Kyle told me he was such a good player. And I thought I didn't believe him. I just hadn't watched him yet. Oh, snap. This is 13 minutes long? Jeez. This is like the first first clips they probably got of him. This is probably like an insanely lit game he had that kind of got him on people's radar. It's all right. We'll watch some of it. And if it's getting too long, we're not seeing anything new, then we'll just pull it back. This is 2016. Is that still the same quarterback? Well, I mean, we've already seen two plays that they did not run with that old quarterback. What is the score thing down there? Like, what's next to their names? A little swing pass? Look at the adjustment.
This is like retro draft breakdown film right now, man. Oh, come on, O-line, you gotta react, team. Rookie mistakes. It's the same quarterback, still burning. I honestly think the fumble out of bounds rule is really dumb. I think you should be able to recover it out of bounds. I think you should be fights on the benches for it. Jump him, jump him. Oh, come on, Dallas. If you're gonna be a tight end in the NFL, you have to be able to hurdle secondary players. It is a requisite skill. I like him working him into the flat, though, because he gets moving nicely, right? Like I said, fluid athlete, right? Those first couple routes, like, you know, he kind of lumbers when he runs, but he changes direction smoothly, more smoothly than I anticipated. He good? You good, Dallas? These all-whites are fresh, man. I'm loving this, like, the bright blue with the gold, and the gold face masks looks good. South Dakota's got nice jerseys. No. Oh. Well, he likes the little cutback. I don't know how effective it's going to be. He's not the greatest stop-start athlete I've ever seen. But he likes to use it. Off coverage. Safety rolled down. Oh, that's heartbreaking. No way. No way. Go score. I dare you to score. Yes! Yes! I just watched the tight end score in a jet sweep. A jet sweep from shotgun from the 20. But like balls to the 17, but he gets the ball to the 21-yard line. I mean, look, he beats all the linebackers to the outside. And he gets great blocking, but still. What an athlete. Come on. Come on. That was awesome. Let's see it. Show it to me again. Look at the burst. The vision. But seriously, though. Look, yeah, they see that you right there. You get a foot up and, and turn up field. Foot on the ground, turn up field. Nice. That's a little flexibility in the hips there, Dallas. I love it. This is never going to happen again, but it's cool. Oh, I should make this big. There we go. He does well staying connected when he blocks, right? You know, just speaking plainly. Like, even if it's not super pretty, he stays engaged for the entire time, which is nice. Look at that. He had that guy locked up, and then the polar comes, crushes him, and they pick up to eight. Uh-oh. That wasn't pretty. All right, Winicky. I forgot. Southern Illinois is the Salukis. What is a Saluki? So like 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 switch concept with Winicky and and, South, and uh, Dallas. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. This is definitely like the first game draft breakdown I ever had on him, where they like learned that Dallas Goddard was a thing. That was weird. That was also in my video. That wasn't the stream, folks. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This video quality, less than ideal. Yeah, there's a little quick screen out. Yeah. Kind of got caught in cover, too, there, probably. They had a flag defender. It's too easy. All right, video quality is better. Slant flat with the run attached. Nice. Right, so he loses eventually, right? But that's exciting right there. And now he's got to keep bringing his feet through. Watch his feet still. And my feet are dead. Right? You got And then once the feet are dead, now you're putting all of your weight on him. Right? You're no longer supporting your own weight. And he throws him off. Right? 99 does well to get his hands inside. This is a good play by 99. Right? He gets good initial hand positioning. But then that power that you see from Goddard right away, that jolt. Bah, that's nice. That's, that's you know, I, I, I wrote down earlier kind of blocking technique and blocking athleticism being two different things you watch for when you watch tight ends. Because often their blocking technique is garbage. Uh, unless they're, you know, really designed to do that. That called Jeremy Sprinkle from Arkansas last year. But that was nice. You know, you saw that power. That part of that athletic profile that leads you to believe he'll be able to block. No idea why South Dakota would ever keep him in the block at all. 
I mean, I guess just to kind of keep play calling, I guess. Outbreak and route. That was less than ideal. Oh dear. Let's, I want to watch. Dallas loves attacking the soft coverage by just running straight into people, which I really like. I'm bigger than you. I'm going to bully you, right? Now, it's going to be tougher at the NFL, but he's still he's still 6'3", 255. He's still going to bully people. It's a reality. Slant flat. Someone's got to teach him how to hurdle people. It's very important to me that NFL tight ends. If I'm going to draft you in the first round, Dallas, I'm going to need you to hurdle people. You can't be an NFL tight end without hurdling secondary members. It's part of the contract. He looks like a wide receiver, man. He's got a wide receiver build to him. Oh, man. That was highly unfortunate. That was highly unfortunate. <laughs> that sucks. What was the design here? What was the route? The, like, screen sort of a situation? Yeah. Dallas misses this block in space, man. He's now missed a couple second-level blocks, which is less than ideal, and we're going to keep an eye on that moving forward. I think he also false starts a lot, but that hasn't been called for it. Oh, Winicky. He run a little out route here. Dallas is behind this. Yeah. Probably out or not. But he gets a double coverage, right? So now you attack the one-on-one. -on -one. That was a good read by the by the quarterback. There was no safety. Got to hit it, though. Winicky should be interesting. Oh! This is heartbreaking. You have a safety right there. If you're Southern Illinois coordinator, you're so pissed. It's Tampa 2, right? Yes, Tampa 2. I'm not a huge fan of the way that he bends that route, but him on, on, on eights, right, when he runs a post, it's so hard to have a safety who's going to be able to handle that, right? You need a big, you need like a Cam Chancellor type safety who can stay in, who has the range to cover a split field zone, but is still big enough to fight through Goddard to attack this football. Because safety's in a perfect position, he just bounces off Goddard. And balls that are up in the air, Goddard is so comfortable getting those, right? Which is awesome. Because you can now throw it over the first level of defense, right? You can throw it over the linebackers very safely, putting a lot of air under that football because Goddard is very comfortable going up and getting it, which is very exciting, right? That's awesome. All right. Commentators are talking about how much they love Dallas. Dallas, interesting name. I wonder where he's from. All right. I know I was complaining during the TCU game about not having all the tape. I don't really know why we need clips like that. Dallas coming to hit, folks. Hit him. Just throw it to him. All right. Safety is right on top of this. So, like, he's basically double covered right here. Like, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're 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 anticipating that eight, that post route, all day long. It's right here. Come out of that H back. There's the post. Oh, you gotta hit him earlier than that. Woo! I did not anticipate he wouldn't catch that. This ball comes out early, it's a touchdown. Let's make that very clear. Right now, touchdown. That safety's turned around. This lets the ball come late. How did that now does the does the defensive back affect What? They're calling it a touchdown. The commentators are currently telling me that this was a touchdown, which, what? All right, I'm listening to the commentators, folks. I will relay the information. Yeah, they pulled it back, obviously. But I want to see how... Does this get affected by... Does Goddard just not bring this in? That's subtitles. Or does the defensive back actually affect this ball? Yeah, I think so. I think what happens here is Goddard's trying to ta catch a ball that's ta that's that's coming out of his helmet, coming out of his shoulder pad. Right, it's a tough place. I think right here he's he hasn't lost control of it. Right, like he could have reeled this in.
but because it's far enough back, this swipe right here, boom, that swipe does knock it out. Yep. So the defensive back affects it. Dallas didn't catch it cleanly. And yeah, it definitely should not be a touchdown. That was a dumb call. Then again, what is a catch will remain one of the greatest mysteries of football. Mesh. Nice play. We have, we have watched Winnicky make not a lot of catches so far. <laughs> Finish him, Dallas. Finish him. Take him all the way out. Folks. Go get it, Mingarelli. That's this guy's name. The commentators are telling me very excitedly. Watch this by Dallas. Think about doing this, and you've got like a, like a real dynamic athlete, a running back, and just watching Dallas take a safety all the way out. That's pretty. It's very exciting. Right. He's a very powerful young man. Again, it's tough because you're watching him against all of these players that are so far below NFL caliber, but he's, he's just moving people around at will. All right, all right. Oh man, I really wanted it. I wanted them to run out of four by one, four into the boundary. That would have made me excited. And again, that is not a necessary rep to show us. All right, well, outside move. Was, he was slow for the turn here, right? That was that was less than ideal. He's definitely not the cleanest breaker. He doesn't run the cleanest routes. You know, we were impressed by that one route he had against Nova. That was important. Tunnel screen. They love this little middle screen on third down, on third and long for Dallas. Yeah, it's going to be a legal man downfield. But still. All right, all right, all right. We don't need this. He was in Dallas was never the route there. He lumbers, man. He lumbers. Man. Oh, so wow. Southern brought this thing all the way back. 35-32. He's incomplete. Incomplete. Calm down, Salukis. All right, second and ten. Here we go. Screen? No. Nope. Oh, Winicky. I want Winicky to make a catch, guys. Hit him. His quarterback's killing me, folks. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Find him. Oh. You and I are struggling, Mini Vernon Adams. Hit him. All right, there it is. That was juicier than we've seen Goddard. I've been wondering if he's dying a little bit in, into this, into the, late into this game now. He's been on the field for a lot of snaps. It looks a little bit juicier now. Nice. Look at that torsion that he generates, right? Look at the turn in the hips. Nice. That's what, it's what softens the edge so that this guy can go pick up a first down. All right, H back. We haven't seen him here too much. We've seen him here more in the Southern Illinois game than we saw him in the other games, which is exciting. He runs a lot of these deep over routes. I wish he got his head back to the quarterback a little bit quicker. All right, Winicky. H back again. Middle screen. Oh, the 
Spin move. Sweet Christmas. I wish he went upfield uh, instead of going outside because he had so much room with his blockers here. So he put himself in a bad spot, but the spin, the contact balance, he doesn't get his pads down, but he just bounces through people, man. He's such an athlete. This is exciting. Oh, my gosh. Show me the spin move again. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Show me the spin. Give me the spin. What? Oh, that was tasty. He's agile. He's a very good football player. All right, we don't need this. God, it's the inline tight end at the bottom of the screen. Don't know why we need that either. Nice. Works him all the way down. Still a three-point game. Nail-biter here between South Dakota and Southern Illinois. Oh, somebody went and chucked Goddard. Hmm. The jet sweep again? Yeah, uh, you can't wa you can't run multiple tight end jet sweeps in one game. That's a little too aggressive. See, this time they're so much quicker to flow these linebackers than they were. They're coming to hit it. I don't know who forty four thinks he's blocking. Yeah. Oh, if only he could hurdle somebody, we would have solved all of these problems. Yeah, you only get one tight end jet a game, South Dakota. Who's on him? You giving him that much cushion? Hit the eight. Hit the post. Oh, they ran double China. You gotta hit Goddard. You in third and twelve. Gotta go hit Goddard. Double China. <sighs> come on. I mean, come on. That's mad. That's really, really valuable, guys. All right. That was Dallas Goddard team. We went through all four games on draft breakdown. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, we'll be doing this for the rest of the draft season. Yeah, I mean, I said it in the middle of the broadcast. But if you're just with, with us here now, which a couple of you are, um, that's a round one player. You know, I, 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 that's, those are round one tools right there. And obviously I think that he's been pretty dominant against, you know, uh, the performance, the, the, the teams like up against which he's been, you know, the FCS teams. I'll be interested to get his stats from when he's playing FBS level teams and kind of see if there's a significant drop off, um, which will help address his eval. Dallas is going to be at the Senior Bowl in January. I'm very excited to watch him there. Looks to be a very good tight end group, so he'll have good company uh, up against which to go, which is very valuable. So, yeah, uh, Benjamin Solak on Twitter at Benjamin Solak. That's S O L A K. All of my draft stuff is at NTTScouting.com. And I, I'm going to do these pretty often moving into draft season. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you just, you know, you're following me, following me on Twitch, following me on Twitter, something like that. Either way, have a good one, guys. I appreciate it.